Well, good afternoon, everybody. Let's try that one more time. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I know there's something they say super going on a little later today, but we have had a super weekend all weekend, and I hope you're glad the Mark Trammell Quartet is in the house for tonight. It's going to be great. This is going to be the best six hours you've enjoyed in a long time. How many remember those all-night things? They go that long. This is not one of them, I promise you. But it will be a wonderful service today, and we're so grateful that you came. And it's a little different for us uh, doing the 4 o'clock uh, today and uh, because of the Super Bowl instead of 6. And so uh, it's a little, little strange for us to be here this early, but I hope you're okay with that. I think this worked out really nice today. So we're happy you came. Well, we're going to sing a little bit and get you warmed up today. I want everybody on your feet, everybody on your feet tonight. And before we do, I want you to turn around to about at least 25 people and give them a big smile and hand wave. Will you do that? Well, some glad morning when this life is o'er. Oh, to a home on God's celestial shore. Oh, I'll fly away, oh, glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, spine by, I'll fly away. When the shadows of this life have grown, like a bird from prison bars have flown. Oh, I'll fly away. I'll fly away in the morning. When I die, hallelujah, spine by, I'll fly away. Play that Hammond organ. Come on, I want everybody like this. It's Sunday at Happy Gospel. Just a few more weary days and then sounding good to a land where joy shall never end oh I'll fly away oh I'll fly away when I die Hallelujah, spine by, I'll fly away. Somebody say amen. Well, let's move from Arkansas with Albert E. Brumley, and let's move to uh, Alabama with Hank Williams. I wondered so aimless, life filled with sin. I would. There you go. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Just like a blind man, I wandered along. Worries and fears I claimed for my own. Then like the blind man that God gave back his sight. Praise 
Everybody, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. One more time, I saw the No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Y'all sound good today. Amen and amen and amen. Well... Albert E. Brumley, Hank Williams. Let's try this one here. Let's sing a little bit of the national anthem of the church uh, tonight. And uh, I know every one of you are familiar with it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me i once was lost but now i'm found was blind but now i see was grace sing it out and grace Let's sing it. When we've been there 10,000 years, everyone. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as. Oh, yes. We've no less things to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Let's sing it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God, 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 praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Somebody say amen. Man, it feels good to be in here uh, today. We're so thankful you're here. Yesterday, uh, some dear friends of mine experienced loss. Our friends out at Christian Retreat, Pastor Phil Durstein's father, Gerald Durstein, went to be with the Lord yesterday, the founder of Christian Retreat. At 92 years young, I believe, he was ready to go and meet the Lord, and uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with their family and uh, that, that wonderful ministry there that's made such an impact Brother Gerald would love to come over here for many years on Sunday nights and enjoy the concerts. He'd sneak in, and uh, he would always enjoy, and he would whisper to me, he said, 
they don't sing this where I come from. I have to come here. And he said, this is my favorite. That's what he would tell me. And so uh, anyway, our thoughts and prayers are with Pastor Phil and Jeanette and their in, entire family. And so we're going to pray tonight. Um, and my dear friend, Donnie Swaggart, is, is still here tonight hanging out. He wanted to come hear the Mark Trammell Quartet. And uh, Donnie, come out here. I'm going to have Donnie pray tonight and greet you. Would you give Jimmy Swaggart's son, Donnie Swaggart, a warm Sunday night welcome tonight? Well, are you ready for some good music? Those guys are fired up back there. They're bouncing off the wall. They're doing chants. They're jumping up and down. They told me they're going to sing their heart out for you. They told me that when they get through singing, they're not going to have a voice left. And you're not going to have any money left. Because you're going to give to them and you're going to buy everything they got back there, right? Because you sure didn't buy it for me. No, you did good. I'm just joking with you. Hey, let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Father, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. And what a joy and a privilege it is tonight to join together as the family of God to worship you in song. And Lord, we know how important anointed music is in the kingdom of God. Music that is anointed by you, Lord, can touch and minister to the heart, to the soul, as nothing else outside of preaching. Take the music that goes forth tonight. Let everything we say and do bring glory and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bless the singers. Bless the congregation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. Thanks, Donnie. Well, tell your neighbor next to you, I'm glad we're sitting in the saved section tonight, today, would you? And you may be seated. We want to welcome all of our friends that are watching tonight on the Happy Gospel Church and the Bill Bailey Concerts uh, Facebook ch uh, channels and YouTube channels. We're so honored to have you in, and I want to encourage you in this pregame concert tonight. I uh, want to encourage you to share the stream with your friends and with your family. You can do that by simply clicking that share button that's online and tell them to tune in tonight. Enjoy the Mark Trammell Quartet. And listen, I've seen the advertisements of what the pregame show is like. And listen, none of that entertainment that you may find on the television is going to come anywhere near in comparison to what you're going to have right here with the Mark Trammell Quartet. So you're in the right spot. Put a note in the comment section and let me know where you're watching from tonight. We'll be perusing them. And also Mark Trammell and the guys, they'll probably at some point be scrolling through there to see your comments. So put a note in there if you have a, a request, a song request or something, and uh, let us know where you're watching from. Hey, church family, those of us here in the sanctuary, could we welcome all of our friends that are watching from across America and Canada tonight? Give them a big welcome. If this is your first time here, I know uh, our Sunday night crowds come from all over for the special concert services, and uh, we, we get that, and we know they're from many different churches, but I'm always curious about if it is your first time, I will not embarrass you or ask you to speak, but will you just give me a little friendly hand wave if it is the first time you've ever been here at Happy Gospel? All right, a few of you. Could we welcome our first time guests and visitors tonight? We're so glad you came. And here's what I tell my guests on Sunday nights. If it's your first time here, if you're from a local, another church somewhere, be faithful where God has called you, support your pastor, pay your tithes, serve God as you're supposed to in your local church. And then when you can get away on a special night like tonight, come and see us. And uh, we thank the Lord for you. And I also wouldn't be a good pastor if I didn't tell you that if you do not have a church home, whether you're here seasonally for the winter are full-time. Uh, we have three services a week, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, and we sure would love to have you come back and worship with us in one of our other services, but thank you so much for coming uh, tonight. Uh, real quickly, I do want to mention one announcement, and that is this Wednesday night, Guy Penrod will be here uh, for Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, it's amazing to me how God speaks to all of these people to come to Florida at the same time of the year. 
And, uh, but we're excited to have Guy. We hardly ever have any guests on Wednesday night. As you know, our custom is every Sunday night. But when it's Guy Penrod and it's the only opportunity, we take that opportunity. And so we're excited to have him. Uh, free admission. There's no tickets ever here at the church. Uh, we'll just ask for a generous love offering. And so uh, Wednesday night, hope you'll come back and be with us uh, for Guy Penrod. As is our custom on our Sunday night services, we'll be receiving two offerings. We receive a church offering since it's a regular service for us here at Happy Gospel. And then later in the service, as the Lord should lead, we will be receiving a second offering for the Mark Trammell Quartet. And I know once the guys sing and minister, you're going to want to be generous to them. So please be prepared for that second offering that will come later in the service. But right now, if you're part of our church family and you brought your tithe, or if you're giving an offering for the church, this will be the time to do it. Sister Bailey handles all of our business here at the church, and she tells me, she says, Bill, if you will just ask the people on Sunday nights, our friends, to just put something in the church offering. It doesn't have to be much, but if everybody would just put something in the offering, it would help defray our overhead for these Sunday night services. And neighbor... We will probably, you could probably count on one hand the number of churches that have church on Sunday night in Manatee County. I hope you are thankful we bring in all these gospel groups and these ministries during the winter months to bless our community. And so thank you for doing something for the church, if at all possible. Ushers, will you come and we'll pray? Heavenly Father, thank you tonight. Bless every tithe payer. Bless every gift giver tonight. Lord, we give as unto the Lord in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. amen. God bless you as you give tonight. I have uh, worked with Mark Trammell uh, most of the years of my promoting career, uh, 36 years uh, in some form or fashion. We've worked with Mark, and when he put his quartet together a few years back, when you talk about traditional gospel quartet singing, these guys are at the top of, uh, of the list. And, of course, when your resume includes people like George Yance and Glenn Payne and the Cathedral Quartet, he learned from the masters, and he has created a great quartet in and of himself and this group. So, ladies and gentlemen, would you put your hands together and help me welcome the Mark Trammell Quartet. Will you love the Lord? Say amen. Brotherly your sorrows and come and go along. Why should children of God come be sad? Oh, let us live our voices in voices and you will hear you sing it. Oh, be glad, for they are not bad. My brother, leave your sorrows and come along and go with me. Uh, but 
So brother, leave your sorrows and come and go along. Why should you let it not be sad? So no, let us lift our voices in voices and we will sing and sing and go. It's a new song.
transported I rise to meet him in clouds of the sky his perfect salvation his slaves in Egypt land, so God took Moses by the hand and said, Moses, tell old Pharaoh to set them free. But old Moses wanted a way to get out, because in his mind he began to doubt, said, Lord, old Pharaoh ain't going to listen to me. Well, the Lord said, son, throw down that rod. Moses did, then he cried to God, because the turned to a snake as evil and wicked as sin. When the Lord said, seize him by the tail, Moses did, and it turned to a rod again. God promised to lead his children out upon him. He said he'd free them from Pharaoh's evil hand. He said he'd guide and protect them on their journey and lead them to the promised land. Well, the Lord said, Moses, I got the power and I'll be with you every hour. Go tell old Pharaoh to set my children free. Moses did, and the Lord helped out. He sent the plague to the land about till old Pharaoh told him to go and let it be. Well, they started out with a cloud by day and a fire by night to lead the way. The old Pharaoh suddenly decided to change his mind. So he gathered together all the soldier band and all the chariots throughout the land said, I'll let those Israelites go some other time. God promised to lead his children out upon him. He said he'd free them from Pharaoh's evil hand. He said he'd guide and protect them on their journey and lead them to the promised land. of the ocean blue, they turned to Moses and said, what are we doing? Oh, Moses fell on his knees or in the sand. Well, the Lord said, Moses, trust in God. All you're going to do is raise up that rod and over those mighty waters, stretch hold your hand. Moses followed the Lord's command and the waters parted down the sand. They saw a path and led to the other shore. Well, the ground was dry and they passed on through, so Pharaoh's army done. They were too, but the water fell. They ain't never been seen the boat. Children out of bondage, he said he'd free them from Pharaoh's evil hand. He said he'd guide and protect them on their journey and lead them to the promised land. And lead them to the promised land. And lead them to the promised land.
name is Trevor Conkle. Welcome, Trevor, today, would you? That's good, son. Today I went back to the place where I used to go. Today I saw that same old crowd I knew before. And when they asked me what had happened, I tried to tell We've had requests. We're going to do as many of them as we can. Here's one right here. This From the chastening rock, seek the way pilgrims trod, bridge is the way. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night, noon, many will be, many will be there, do, trumpets will sound. Free from all care. 
rising up in the sky telling this world goodbye for oh, me then shall fly glory to share Praise the Lord. I, I, I want to do this. Um, somebody heard us recently, and I think it was at uh, the Winter Convention uh, last week, and uh, heard our tenor singer uh, do a song. I, I, won't, uh, I, I promised we would try to do it this afternoon, so let's just uh, let's do it now before I forget about it. Anybody? Well, I see quite a few of you got platinum blonde hair like me. And there's quite a few of you don't have any hair at all. So uh, any of y'all have the issue of forgetting things at all? Like from the time you get up at the kitchen table and go toward the bedroom to get what your glasses, and then you forget that you've gone to get your glasses. Anybody ever done that? Okay, I'm a good company then. All right. Uh, so that's why I want to do this now before I forget about it. Let's, uh, let's let him sing it. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. Sheltered, sheltered. 
entered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me and not of earth can harm me. For In the Garden of Eden, the first choice was made To reject holy God and to sin be enslaved Separation from God was sin's only demand Till further and further we strayed from His hand Then down through the ages the preachers would come Declaring this message of hope through God's Son Be saved, be redeemed be washed in the blood, be set free From the chains, from the grave From the power that holds you enslaved By His grace be completely amazed Be saved What starts as a wonder and conviction of sin Turns into an ember that's burning within Baptized in His mercy, immersed in the flood That's my testimony of what He has done I now have one purpose, I now have one call To tell of the way of escape from the fall Be saved, be redeemed Washed in the blood, be set free From the chains, from the grave From the power that holds you enslaved By His grace be completely amazed Be saved, oh I'm saved By His power divine and saved You're from grave to new life so my joy is complete. Be saved, be redeemed, be washed in the blood, be set free from the chains, from the grave, from the power that holds you enslaved. By His grace be completely amazed. Be saved from the the power that holds you enslaved by his grace be completely amazed be saved be saved oh, be that song. I, I'm a little partial to it. My son wrote it, and uh, that's him right there. His name is Nick Trammell. Welcome, Brother Nick, tonight. i tell you what. Let me introduce all of them real quick. Like, on the end is our tenor. He is, uh, well, let's see. Two great big things have happened in his life in the last couple of years. Number one, he had a nine-month paid vacation. First time ever in his life. 
And uh, then also, uh, he said, I do, a few months back. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the thing that we're most excited about is she said it as well. Yeah, amen. But his name is Stephen Adair. Welcome, Brother Stephen, tonight. And I just introduced Nick over here as our bass singer. Has been now for just over seven years. Randy and I are both Baptist preachers' kids. If you want to know what's wrong with us, I just told you all that you need to know. His name is Randy Bird. Welcome, Brother Randy, tonight, would you? Last but not least is the young man that played for you a while ago, and he is 23 years of age. I'm 24. Um, and he is from the thriving metropolis of Arab, Alabama. They laughed. Yeah. Because they don't even know where it is. Uh, they didn't know it existed until just now. If you, it's, it's a real good place to go on vacation. In fact, it's a really good place to uh, uh, hide from the IRS or the FBI. <laughs> if you ever decide you want to go there, make sure to call Trevor. He'll meet you at the stoplight when you get in town. <laughs> Trevor Conkle is his name. Welcome, Brother Trevor, tonight. I want to sit, and since we did that song, Nick, uh, we have a brand new project that's out and uh, just been out for a few months, and we w started to work on it uh, in the spring of 2020, and other things took place, and we all just kind of shut down and went home, and like y'all did, and, and we literally did uh, for most of the, all of that year, uh, uh, but we, we've got a new project that uh, finally did make it out a few months back. And I'm glad we waited because it gave us more time to look at material and pick the right things and, and to pray and ask the good Lord which ones should we put on this project. So I'm a little partial to this one. Nick wrote this song. Uh, let's do it. Let, we'll, we'll do a few of the new songs uh, before we take a break. This one especially uh, I'm fond of. You can tell... Um, that Nick grew up in my car <laughs> by the music that he uh, uh, listens to now and the music that he enjoys and uh, the things that are familiar to him. When he writes, I can always tell where it has come from. And um, that, that, that last song comes straight out of John 3.17. Most people in the world have no idea what that verse says. They can tell you immediately, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The next one. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And that's what that song talks about. This one is going to lead you right back into the secular music world. It's going, those of you who are old enough to remember a trio that was in country music for many years and great, great harmony. And the group's name was the Gatlin Brothers. You remember them? Okay. Larry, I, I, I've learned to know down through the years, uh, and I know him well enough to be able to tell you that he's not near as good a golfer as he says he is, okay? Uh, a great singer, but uh, the golfing's kind of just okay. Uh, but I will tell you, when you hear this song, you're going to think, if they did a gospel album, this very easily could have been on it. See if I'm not right. Listen as we sing. For the life of me, I can't believe he died for me at Calvary, but he paid the price. A willing sacrifice that I might realize a home in paradise. He died for the life of me. For God so loved the world that he 
gave his only son for me oh i can't find the words to say just what he did for me that day amazing grace how sweet the sound this grace that turned my life around there's victory in jesus name victory that is mine to claim there's wonder work and power in the blood i'm most unworthy of this gift of love for the life of me i can't believe he died for me span of history and even now I plainly see when facing the uncertain days there's peace in his sustaining grace no longer bound by sin and shame that in his name my life is now a picture of this mercy flowing from above try as I might I'll never see why the hands that made the world were pierced for me for the life of me i can't believe he died for me at calvary but he paid the price a willing sacrifice that i might For the life of me, I can't believe he died for me at Calvary, but he paid the price, a willing sacrifice that I might realize a whole man. For the life of me yeah. All right, here's another one. There are days I feel like the disciples when I'm out on the waters of life And I'm caught by surprise as the billows Toss me from side to side But what if the waves that I'm facing God has every intention to use To steer my course and destiny and move me closer to better shore. Better shore. Beyond what I can see. Better shore. Better shore. More than I can ever dream. I'm holding on, knowing God can even use a storm to take me to better shore. Better shore. The next time I face the mighty tempest. I'll remember I've been here before But I'll look for the good God has promised Trusting He has in store Better sure Better sure Beyond what I can see Better sure 
better show More than I could ever dream Well, I'm holding on Knowing I can even use a storm To take me to better show Could it be what I'm going through will carry me right on to a better show? Beyond what I can see, a better show. More than I could ever dream. Well, I'm holding on, knowing God can even use a storm. On, no one God can even use a storm to take me to better shore. Better shore. Better shore. Better shore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's better good. Shore. I like that. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. I want Stephen to come and sing a song that was uh, is on the new project. In fact, it was requested when I got out to the lobby. Um, this afternoon, and uh, I'm thrilled to be able to do this song. If, uh, if we had a statement song for this project, uh, it would be this song. And the reason I say that is because I believe that it says something that so many of us would like to say to the world. If we had five minutes on worldwide TV today, I'd sing this song because I believe the message in the song to be as true as it would ever be. And you listen, see if you don't agree with what the song says about what we need in today's world. The world's changing every day. I don't believe it's getting brighter. Souls are lost and led astray. The road that's wide is getting wider. Where's the church and what's the plan? Can we reach a generation? If we try, I know we can. Take the gospel to the nation. What we need is an old-time revival, one that lasts till the Spirit comes down. We've had enough of this world, trying to take away the Bible. It's time the church stood its ground. We need to cry out to God for forgiveness. We need to spend a lot more time on our we need to turn away from sin Look to Jesus once again Yeah, that's what we need Amen If I could take the time to tell The whole world my story You'd hear about the times I failed See a past of faded glory But then I'd take you to a place Where my soul was set free My sins forever were erased When Jesus gave me what I need What we need is that One that lasts till the Spirit comes down. We've had enough of this world trying to take away the Bible. It's time the church stood its ground. We need to cry out to God for forgiveness. We need to spend a lot more time on our knees. We need to turn away from sin. Look to Jesus once again. What we need is an old-time revival, 
one that lasts till the spirit comes down. We've had enough of this world trying to take away the Bible. It's time the church stood its ground. It's time the church stood its ground. It's time the church stood its ground. Till the Spirit comes down We've had enough of this world Trying to take away the Bible It's time the church stood its ground We need to cry out to God for forgiveness We need to spend a lot more time on our knees We need to turn away from sin Look to Jesus once again What we need is an old-time revival. How many agree with that? Say amen. I believe it. Land. Abraham was tried and tested, but Isaac would not die. God had provided himself a land. I see him, I see him, God's holy lamb. He's in a manger in Bethlehem. There he is in Pilate's hall. There he is upon Provided himself a land. Yes, he has. I was a sinner, dying and lost without a hope. I had no victory. Then the Spirit spoke gently, looked toward a hill. I saw God's lamb, he was dying for me. I see him, I see him, God's holy lamb. He's in a manger in Bethlehem. There he is in Pilate's hall. There he is upon the cross. God has provided himself a lamb. I see him. In a manger in Bay- 
Yes, sir. Come on, Brother Bill. Hey, Amen. Hit it one more time. All right. One more. Here we go. Have you enjoyed the Mark Trammell Quartet so far tonight? Oh, <laughs> Amen. Mark, how, how many years singing gospel music? I was trying to explain a little bit August, to Donnie. August to be 48. 48 yeah. years. Yeah. And, and Donnie and I were back there talking. Uh, the impetus, you, you started... Uh, you were with the Kingsman for a while, uh, but a short time, right? Right. I, actually, I started with a group called the Senators out of Memphis, Tennessee in 74. Okay. And then I went to the Kingsman. I was there for two years before going to the cathedrals, and I was there for right at 11. And the cathedrals started as the, were y'all still at the Cathedral of Tomorrow? We were, yes. And then, then you launched from there full time. They actually launched from the cathedral before I got there, but... After I got there, we were still there a good bit. Rex was still there a good bit. Um, this was before he moved down here, moved the entire operation down here. And uh, I, I wouldn't trade those days for anything in the world. Do, Sweet times. Do you have a good George Yonks or Glenn Payne Cathedral story, a quick one, a funny one maybe? A, or something? a good George Yonks story. The first thing that comes to my mind is um, when... Nick was born, when my son was born, and uh, George came by the house. I was standing out front on the sidewalk, and I had Nick. I had gone to the mailbox, actually, and I had him in my arms. And George drove by, stopped, said, hey, boy, what do you got there? <laughs> I said, hey, Pop, I've got Nick. And I just kind of leaned over and pulled that little blanket back, and George said, well, isn't that something? I said, yeah, and everybody says he looks just like me. He said, no wonder. You're holding him upside down. <laughs> wow. You know, we put him in the Hall of Fame about three years ago, and there's not a more worthy inductee. Mark Trammell, everybody. Have you enjoyed tonight or today so far? So, uh, you know what my job is tonight, and that's to take up the offering, and everything in the offering tonight will go to Mark Trammell Quartet, and I want to challenge you to be generous tonight as best you can, and I'm going to tell you what Sally and I are doing. Sally and I, uh, I've got $40, $20 for each one of us is what our offering's going to be tonight, and I want to challenge everyone in the room to do that tonight at least, if you're able to. Now, if you're not able to, I'm not talking to you. But most of you could do that. We went out to eat at a restaurant today, and by the time we paid for our meal and beverage and uh, paid uh, Governor DeSantis to keep Florida open and, uh, and gave a gratuity to our server, we spent about $20 uh, where we were uh, per person. And I wouldn't want to do any less for the Mark Trammell Quartet uh, because not only are they worth it, but we will feast on these songs all week long. They have been a tremendous blessing to us tonight. And so I want to challenge you to do that. If you can't do that, you give what you can. And then there's some of you tonight the Lord is speaking to to do something over and above. Maybe you love these guys and you say, Pastor Bill, I'm not going to give 20 bucks in the offering. I want to do something more significant. And you know who you are. And if that's you... Uh, you obey the Lord, and it'll help pick up the slack for others who may not be as fortunate. Everything in the offering tonight will go to the, the quartet. Nothing. Three 
season. If anything, we will add to your love offering. We will not take it away. If you're writing a check, make it out to the church so we can write one check to the quartet tonight. That's their preference. And uh, you can also take advantage of the benefit of tax uh, if, you, if you need that at the end of the year. While you're getting your gift ready, I want to talk to my friends online tonight that are watching. There's well over 600 of you that have been consistently watching through all, all of our platforms tonight you as well, wherever you are. And I can't physically take one of my ushers and send them to your living room with a bucket to stand in front of you. So the way you can give tonight is by going to that link at the bottom of the screen. You've seen it there periodically, but everything tonight that's raised uh, through the live stream that comes in will go to the Mark Trammell Quartet. I need for you to give generously as well. And you can go to happygospelchurch.com slash give. When you click on that donate button, you're going to see Mark Trammell Quartet special offering come up. And just click there and you can give your love gift. And whether your gift is 20, 50, 100, 500, more or less, whatever it is, everything you give will be applied towards their offering tonight. And so I encourage you to give generously. We want to take great care of these men and uh, we need your help in order to do it. These guys are not bivocational. This isn't a hobby or a side gig for them. Uh, this is their living. This is their livelihood. And this is what God's called them to do, to be song evangelists. I've heard Brother Swagger talk quite often about how music opens the door for people to receive the message. It's, it's a powerful medium that God has allowed us to have music it does something to the heart that nothing else will. You can shout at people, scream at people. You can even cry at people and try to give them a sob story. But there's something about a song, when it's put to music, that message can penetrate the heart like nothing else will. And so that's why I'm asking you to support tonight, whether online or in person this evening. Ushers, will you come? We're going to pray, and then they'll wait upon you. Also tonight, if you want to use your charge card or debit card, whether it's now or at the end of the service, we will have an attendant at the kiosk in the lobby, and they'll be glad to serve you. Maybe you didn't come prepared tonight, uh, and you want to use your charge card. Uh, there'll be someone there either now or at the end. You feel free to go out to the lobby, and someone will take good care of you. Trevor, come play the offering for us tonight, and let's pray. Father, would you speak? To every person tonight, both those, the few hundred that are here and the few hundred that are watching online. God, would you speak to their hearts? Lord, I know if we'll do our part, whether it's 20 or 50 or 100, more or less, that if we'll all do our part with your blessing, the need will be met. Mark Trammell Quartet will leave here blessed, and God, you'll be honored through our giving. Lord, I thank you for the longevity of years that you've given Mark. And this wonderful quartet that we've been blessed by tonight that has sung the gospel faithfully. And Lord, tonight as we give to them as unto the Lord, I thank you, Lord, that they will be able to continue to perpetuate this music and continue to touch people's lives through it, just like they've done here tonight at Happy Gospel. So God, thank you for taking this offering and blessing it. In Jesus' name I pray. And all of God's people said... Amen. God bless you as you give tonight.
Give Trevor a nice hand, would you? <laughs> Pastor Brian got our flyers uh, uh, modified for today, and I want everybody, when you leave, to come by the kiosk in the lobby and pick one of these up. You may not have known they were there uh, when you came in, but they'll be there when you leave. This is our upcoming schedule until special every Sunday uh, night between now and uh, Resurrection Sunday in April. And of course, uh, this Wednesday night is kind of the special Wednesday, uh, and that's Guy Penrod. He'll be with us, a.k.a. Jesus. <laughs> or I had one lady, uh, one lady say, is it, is it Fabio? <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. I don't watch that channel. Maybe you, some of y'all need to repent, I can tell. But, but anyway, uh, a guy will be here, of course, Wednesday night. Next Sunday night, the sound will be here. They're incredible. And then on the 27th, the inspirations are coming. Real excited about that. Down East Boys, Jonathan Wilburn, the Wisnets, Three Bridges, George Jones, Elvis. It's going to be a great... Just making sure you were listening. But uh, it's going to be a great rest of the winter season for us right up until Resurrection Sunday. So pick up one of these flyers and uh, the updated uh, events. There you go. And then also, um, if you are not on our email list, I send out one, maybe two emails a week. It's the best way to stay in tune with what's going on. And I want to encourage you to sign up tonight. You can do that at the kiosk before you leave, and I'll send you the email and uh, you can stay up to date. It'll be a reminder each week. I promise we will not sell your information or give it away. We also have a regular mailing list that we send out. How many of you get postcards and literature from me in the mail? Yeah, most of you. If you don't and you'd like to be on that list, you can come by as well. If you're a snowbird and you want to be on our mail list, you can just put a big star on your form and uh, your Florida address and we'll quit sending to you at Easter, the 1st of April, and that's the way we segment our mailing list for our winter resident-only friends. So pick all of that literature up out in the back. But again, uh, this Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, kind of the extra special night. Uh, we never have guests on Wednesdays, but this, uh, when it's Guy Penrod, uh, we wanted to have him, and so I know you'll be blessed with him, and he'll have the entire service. It'll be a fabulous, fabulous time. Thank you for giving online. Continue throughout the remainder of this service. Everything during uh, this live stream uh, will be allocated for the Mark Trammell Quartet. So thank you for your generosity and those of you here in the house as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've enjoyed these guys. They're going to sing just a little bit more before the kickoff time tonight. And I know you've enjoyed them. Donnie and I have enjoyed them in the back back there. One more time, would you welcome the Mark Trammell Quartet. Thank you, Brother Bill. Uh, not going to do a commercial. Uh, they, uh, you'll have plenty of those in just a little while. Uh, if you watch the game, you'll have more of them than you want to. Uh, but uh, the ministry items at the table, it's going to be a simple package. Randy's put together our two latest CDs for one green $20 bill. You get both of our brand new projects. Trevor has a new piano solo project back there. It's worth taking home with you, and it'll be the least expensive way to take him home with you. So just uh, <laughs> go by and do that. We have uh, gospel music, hymn sing videos back there, all kinds of stuff. Avail yourselves of all of that uh, out at the table. As soon as it's over, we'll be out there. Um, I had a request uh, to do uh, this particular song, so let's do it now. Um, it's Go Ask Moses. That's the name of it. There's no piano on this one, so just hang out for a minute. We'll get with you, okay? Here we go. Questions in life are common. Answers are hard to find. So if you need a friend to call, Here's a name on mine. Go ask Moses how it feels when God says, I'll depend on you. Go ask Moses how a bush on fire will make you lose your shoes. Go ask Moses how it feels to watch as the mighty Red Sea closes. If 
If you need another witness from another time and place, if you need a testimony of God's power and His grace, if you need to be reminded that God always makes a way, I'll give you a name, go ask Moses. Oh 
requested song we've had in eight years is this one and we'll say goodbye to you we sing this god bless you we love you thank you for coming and being a part of this service today the hope that we have as believers the king is coming the marketplace is empty no more traffic in the street. All the builders' tools are silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewives cease their labor in the courtroom. No debate. Work on earth has been suspended. Happy faces line the hallway. Those whose lives have been redeemed. Broken homes that he has mended. Those from prison he has freed. Little children and the aged. Hand in hand stand all alone. Who were crippled, broken, ruined, clad in garments white as snow. The king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard a trumpet sounding, and soon his face I.
Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just remain standing, heads bowed, eyes closed. No one looking around. Our prayer for you tonight as we leave is that you can reach into the depths of your soul and you can honestly say, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. Free from the guilt of the past. My name is written in the Lamb's book of life. And I'm on my way to heaven. Rejoicing in the victory that this is a strange land and I'm just passing through. And I'm headed home. Our prayer is that you can honestly say that tonight. I'm going to ask Pastor Bill to come and pray and close however he sees fit tonight. We pray for you that God will be God in your life. As your heads are bowed and eyes are closed, is there anyone in this room that says, Pastor Bill and Mark, I'm not ready for eternity. If God should call my name before I wake up tomorrow, before the game starts tonight or ends tonight, I wouldn't be ready. Is there anyone, if that's you, his heads are bowed, eyes are closed. No one but me and Mark and God looking. Would you just slip a hand? Say, pray for me, Pastor. Pray for me, Mark. Yes, yes. God bless you. There's two. Will there be three? Anyone else? How many in this room would say, Pastor Bill, it's not me I'm concerned about. Ready, should the Lord call me, but I've got people that I love, maybe a spouse, maybe children or grandchildren, someone dear to your heart. And tonight your prayer is not for you personally, but it's for them. How many tonight would say, Pastor and Mark, remember me when you pray? All through this room. All through this room. Heads up, eyes open. Here's what I want you to do tonight. Mark, I'm gonna have you pray tonight. But here's what I want very gently, not abrasefully, not forcefully. If you're able to and feel comfortable to, would you take your hand and just put it on the shoulder of someone near you and let's pray one for another tonight as Mark closes in prayer. If you're able to and feel comfortable, just gently on their shoulder and let's pray one for another. Father, we love you and we thank you for how you provide for us when it seems to be so unlikely, so near to impossible, but that seems to be when you do your best work. And Lord, tonight there are those in this building that need a touch from your hand. There are those here whose loved ones are in desperate need of knowing that you're God. And it's our prayer that right now, those who have said, yes, I need a Savior, will in the depths of their hearts say, I believe you, Jesus, can save me from my sin. I believe you, holy God, can reach down from the portals of glory and you can stir the waters of our lives and you can cause us to see you in action, doing things that are exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Before we dismiss tonight, I want to pay homage. Alan Cox, it's so good to see you. Alan sang tenor for the Florida Boys. How many years? Eight years. He was one of the, I think, the last tenor or, uh, with the Florida Boys uh, other than right before their retirement. And we're so glad you're here, buddy. Would you give Alan, many of you remember him, with the Florida Boys. Appreciate you, man.
The quartet is at their table tonight. Go by and see them. Pick up the literature at the kiosk. We'll see you Wednesday night with Guy Penrod. God bless you. Have a great night tonight. Go Bengals.